Hello everybody and welcome to today's video where today we are once again in Five Nights at Theories and as you can see I'm playing Five Nights at Freddy's on my phone so that you have something to look at that isn't me. I didn't get to the end. Um, it's not because I died, it's because I thought I had enough. And I think I do. Anyways, so what we're doing is we are going to be doing today's theory, which is It's Me. That's the title of this episode, so keep watching. If you have not seen the previous video, please do click my iPhone right now. Muchas gracias. Alright, since I'm guessing those of you who haven't seen the previous video have clicked it, I'll move on. The offline video, which I did yesterday, had me talking about how people had found that offline also is known as 30 years later, only one. So we know that in the first Five Nights at Freddy's, Phone Guy dies. But, as I said in the last video, there were two killers. The Pink Man and the Purple Man. The Purple Man was seemingly Phone Guy meaning he's now dead. But Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is supposedly going to take place in 2015 after Fun Guy's dead. What I think is, which would explain all of the random hallucinations, how everything in the entire pizzeria changes randomly, is that it's you. You are the pink man. You are the killer, but you feel guilty. You come back to this place, and what happens is the animatronics find you, and they kill you. Alright, so, since Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is taking place later on the timeline, I'm guessing that Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is going to take place on a timeline where Jeremy what's-his-face, survived all seven nights and was eventually fired in the end. Well, if Jeremy really is the pink man, then, well, wouldn't he be the killer? The killer who came back to the pizzeria? So what I'm thinking is you'll be an entirely different night guard in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, but at the same time, through a series of phone calls, who knows if phone guy's going to be recording them, he shouldn't be, but maybe someone else will. You will be told about a murder that happened on, like, night two or night one in the pizzeria. And what will happen is you'll be working out the clues while you do your night shift, and on the final night, which is, like, maybe night six or night five, you'll unravel the mystery. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like. Also, thank you all for watching this new series. I really appreciate all that you've done to get me to this point on YouTube. Anyways, guys, like I said, that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and this is the Sugar Bit signing off. Hold on, the video's not quite over yet. Because I just finished a series, and because tomorrow is Christmas, I want to thank you all by giving you two episodes tomorrow. I'll be recording twice tomorrow and sending out two videos tomorrow, so stay tuned and make sure to watch those. Good job! Here's your paycheck.